Since Hogwarts Legacy was recently free on Epic Games, a lot of new players jumped into the game. And as we all know, this is a very popular but extremely demanding game, especially for low-end PCs. So I decided, why not make a full optimization video on it? Hogwarts Legacy is a 2023 title running on Unreal Engine 4, and these are the game's minimum system requirements. Today, I'm going to show you how you can squeeze out the absolute best FPS possible from this game on low-end or weak machines. But before we dive into the optimization, let me quickly talk about today's sponsor. Bro, what do you mean by a super spicy game? Let me introduce you to Book of Yogg. Book of Yogg is a 3D idle RPG with a stunning cell-shaded art style. You can rally heroes, develop your kingdom, and explore the secrets of a lost world. It's perfect for late-night gaming sessions or even sneaking in a quick play during work. And man, the art team clearly knows what they're doing. You've got Wolf Loli, Succubi, Horse Girls, Dragon Moms, Fox Girls, each one more charming than the last. It feels like they're catering to every taste, so you can find your perfect waifu, whether it's a cat girl, adorable fawn girl, fox girl, mermaid, or fallen angel, they all have that irresistible charm. The more unique the species, the faster players are charging in. And yes, Commander, you can even transform your character into a cute girl. Honestly, how big is the creative mind behind this game? There's also a really unique feature called the Outfit Strip System. The character artwork changes in real time based on what they're wearing, and the strip effect is displayed live. Let me show you with Ruo, Gotcha. We also have the Room feature, where you can interact with a bunny girl, change her posture, and interact directly. I really like this feature and hope more characters get added in the future. The game is also very newbie-friendly, with tons of beginner rewards, making it easy to pull the characters you actually want. Now that's done. Let's jump straight into Hogwarts Legacy Optimization and see how we can massively boost FPS on low-end PCs. First, I'm running the game on my integrated graphics. The resolution is set to 1080p, the upscaling method is on AMD FSR 3, with its mode set to Ultra Performance Preset. Frame generation is enabled. Low latency mode is turned on with AMD Anti-Lag. V-Sync is disabled, and the FPS limit is pushed to 360. To cut down extra load, I've completely turned off motion blur, depth of field, chromatic aberration, and film grain. And inside the graphics menu, every setting is set to its lowest value. So with all these settings applied, Let's jump into the game and check the real-time performance. Well, I can honestly say the game is still quite playable with these settings, but if you're facing lag or stuttering, then stick with me till the end, because I've got some powerful tweaks that can give you a massive FPS boost. So now, let's exit the game and move on to optimization. Now the configuration file of this game is located in your hidden app data folder. Then go to Local, Hogwarts Legacy. Saved. Config then into the Windows No Editor folder and now open this file using Notepad. And the first thing you should do is disable this population quality setting by setting its value to zero. You'll also see two variables here that control the game's internal resolution. But since the game doesn't support custom resolutions, we'll leave them untouched. And that's all you need to do here. Now just save the file and make sure to set its attributes to read only. And then we can move on to the second set of tweaks. Now for deeper optimization, open the engine file using Notepad. Once it's open, we'll add a few variables to further tweak the game and boost FPS. First, add this variable to disable shadows. Then add this one to turn off anti-aliasing. And after that, include these additional variables to squeeze out even more performance. I won't explain what each variable does in detail, because that would take a long time and I don't want to waste your time. Also, you can easily download the pre-made config files from the video description if you prefer. So, after making these changes, save the file and make sure to set the file attributes to read-only. And now, let's launch the game and test the performance. And boom! You can clearly see we've gained a solid FPS boost after applying these tweaks. Yes, I know the game looks pretty rough, but 
Remember, we're low-spec gamers. We care about FPS, not visuals. That said, if you still want even more performance, don't worry you can push it further by enabling full potato graphics. To do that, simply open the engine file again and add these additional variables. After making the changes, save the file, set its attributes to read-only, and let's test the game one last time. And as I said earlier, for low-end PCs, performance always comes first. And in the end, it's completely your choice whether you want to play Beautiful Legacy or Playable Legacy. With that, we've reached the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy Hogwarts Legacy on low-end machines. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and bye!